Maybe it only leaks when I'm turning it on. Let's just keep an eye on that there. Keep an eye on that there. I don't want to see anything coming up on that valve, on that needle. Yeah, that looks like it's coming up. That one there. It's moving up. So that's, that must be water coming in from outside to pressurize it. Pressurizing it through that loop. That'll be hot, cold water coming in for the hot and cold heat exchanger for the tap water. And then this must be the central heating side. It's, um, it's a communal boiler system. So this is just a heat exchanger without any, this is, you're getting hot water pumped up from down below through this pipe here, I think, these two pipes coming in and there, that one's red hot, so that must be the return. So it'll flow up, feed both heat exchangers. We're getting about one bar of pressure. If we try it on one bar and see how it goes, it might, we might not have to bleed it here. We might be able to bleed it through all the rads. circulating pump for the central heating and that's me bleeding it just by unscrewing it and that's gotten rid of the noise keep an eye on the pressure it's just over one bar that should come up maybe a little bit but then the rads should begin to get hot now um, so which is the flow and return to the rads that will be one of these that's hot that's coldish so that let's check the rads and see if we need to bleed them so here's one of the rads and there's no heat in it, but I've just got a radiator key. Ah, there's water in it. That's good. That's the start. So maybe it's just gonna have to take a few moments to get hot. Okay, so what we did there was we opened the filling loop, brought the pressure up, drained it off, drained off the gas through the bleed screw on the central heating pump here. Checked all the radiators, they still weren't getting hot. So checked that they were all bled. There's no gas in any of them, no air in any of the radiators. So came back here, check these pipes. That's the return and that's the flow. And the flow's hotter now because I've put in a little bit more, brought up to about one and a quarter, one and a, just over one and a quarter. And it's filled up and I could hear the heat exchanger filling somehow, which I didn't expect to hear. And then the pump was running the whole time, but it wasn't pushing anything because there was no, must have been no water in the heat exchanger, which I find a bit strange, but that's it anyways. Let's check the rods again. So down here, that's red hot now, the pipe can't hold down to it, so they're all wide open and that should, that's getting hot already up at the top, that's excellent, 